Hey, Kenny with Helicopter Line Ground School. Got a special treat for you. Cole will introduce himself here in a minute. He had a real life engine failure in an instrument. We all talk all the time about what a great, or how it's such a easy helicopter to auto rotate in, especially for practice. He experienced it for real right before a check ride when he was doing a helicopter add on. So coffee with Kenny, day 61. And we got more cool stuff coming up today, but this is the first one we wanted to get to Cole first. Yeah. So Cole, I'll hand you the mic over right. and just tell us briefly what it feels like. We don't, you know, the engine quit. Okay, what happens from there? Sure. And, and you told yeah. us yesterday about something that I never really thought about when it happened. Right. So uh, fairly windy day, you know, it's important to know the conditions of the day, I guess. I was working on steep approaches and uh, my instructor Jan was working on a student in a different, uh, working with a student in a different helicopter, and um, she said that day, "Well, don't do any auto rotations by yourself." So good thing I didn't listen to her. Uh, <laughs> but um, we were uh, about 1,200 feet. We both decided, "Let's go fly over the city because we have two instruments here. That's cool, you know. Let's, um, you know, lose formation, snap a picture, or something like that." And um, I said, hey, are you guys ever going to catch up? And <clears throat> she said, well, are you ever going to come down to 1,200? Because that's supposed to be, you know, which is about 400 AGL. And um, when they talk about the engine's going to quit when you move the throttle, that's true. So if you're over water, if you're over, don't touch it. And um, yeah, so, um, you know, just it's a C model, no governor, no correlator, um, just rolled the throttle out down a little bit and it was instant it um, sometimes you hear it takes four or five seconds sometimes you hear different things it was quick it was instant and first thing you got is uh, shake it rat it's just a quick shake that was the first second of it and um, you know the human factor part of it takes a couple seconds sure. to figure out what happened and I thought, because the helicopter, you know, just quick first second, I thought the helicopter went left. I didn't want it to do that. Um, maybe something hit the tail rotor. Well, um, torque. So that's what happened. The engine quit and we started to the left. And I was downwind when it happened. So, um, got to, yeah, you got to, you got to go the other way, right? Yeah, yeah, so, it, you know, that kind of helped. There's a little bit of, maybe a little bit of luck involved, but, um, yeah, so we, we're starting in a left turn. Um, I'm a student pilot working on my commercial. It's on a Friday, and my check ride is supposed to be the next Wednesday. Um, and I guess where I'm going with that is um, it takes a little bit to figure out what happened, sure. takes you know. Two seconds. Yeah, to yeah. Realize in your head what really is going on. So if it would have been a helicopter where, if that collective is not down in two seconds, um, it it might not have worked out. The Enstrom's really safe in auto rotation, so um, I'd say you know maybe by the third second, oh the engine quit, you know. So it's like one, two, three. Oh, okay, um, and there was a nice big hay field um, it was kind of confined by a couple buildings it was right next to the police station which I think is funny um, and I radioed to my instructor who's watching the whole thing there's a big trail of smoke from all the oil and um, she uh, said well can can you make it back to the airport no <laughs> no we can't can't make it back to the airport um, and so I said I'm I said I'm auto rotating to this field west of the police station, and uh, it was just I, I don't remember being panicked. Of course, there's not enough time. It was about you know maybe it's 20 seconds or less, um, and just flare it out like normal and and put it down. So I um, you know I then I just kind of sat there for a second sure. until my. <laughs> Yeah, and then 
uh, Jan, my instructor, she said, well, get out of there, you know? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I better get out. And then I went back to get my Dunkin' Donuts once everything was under control. There is um, a lot of smoke in the cockpit. It comes up, uh, or came up, through the, um, the right side collective where that, that spot is. And this is a 1981, so maybe... Uh, maybe that wouldn't happen in a different one, but um, smoke came in. So with my left, once the collective is down real quick with my left hand, I, I could barely see out. So I, you just flip the, I just flipped the door up real quick and everything just kind of sucked out. Nice. And that was good call to get everything cleaned up. Yeah. Get, get your uh, visibility back. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And well, uh, yeah. before we go, tell everybody what you do and where oh. you do it at. Give yourself a plug for your flight. Oh, okay, cool, good. Um, I own PNN Flight and Charter at the Marion, Iowa Airport, and we have a fleet of fixed wing, and uh, we operate the Enstrom F28C model, which. So people know where to go in that vicinity, mm -hmm. where you can go find an Enstrom. If there's, we don't know where, yep. they're, where they're at, there's a place you can go. So, and one thing I want to point out is what we found out the hard way, which is. If you, if your engine quits and you make an absolutely seamless auto rotation and you make a perfect landing, it's not covered by insurance. The engine is wear and tear. It had 900 hours on it. It's not bad, but um, we don't know how it was flown before, right. of course, you know, because right. we had just got, you know, we had gotten it fairly recently. Um, however, if I would have just totally wrecked and you know flipped it over or something like then that then the insurance covers it so check your policy That's pretty interesting. and never thought about that. check your policy and make sure that you either get additional coverage for engine or it maybe it's covered and you have uh, you only have 60 days to get all that figured out and you know when something like like that happens you have the FAA and sure. everyone coming out so right. be careful with the insurance too awesome um, well hey yeah Put a comment down below. Give us a like on this for yeah. Cole. And uh, we'll be in touch with him. So if you've got some questions, we can always forward them on. Or we'll have yeah. him check the YouTube video occasionally so he can jump in and tell you I'll be over. how I'll, he felt. I'll be over to visit soon. So. Awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, we're going on to do some other interviews. More cool videos coming today. You're going to like it. I promise. we got good stuff coming. Good stuff. A lot of fun Sub here. Yes. Subscribe. Click the bell. Comment below. And we'll see you in the next video coming up very soon. See you after a bit.